So the president will take the stage here in Philadelphia on Wednesday night, one of the most powerful assets for the Clinton campaign and the convention because he does have over 50% approval ratings. But joining me now to discuss the president's role at the DNC is the host of Politics Nation, the Reverend Al Sharpton. I want to talk about Michelle Obama as well. And first, I got to let you take us to the uh, Church of Politics because we just had the gospel choir up here a second ago. The disarray. I, I, I love bringing a choir in. What's better than that? That's right. Uh, as a little theme music for the hour. And boy, they need a, a little Jesus right now, given the fact that there's been such disarray before the gavel is even struck here to ring in the official start. Is that the right call that Debbie Wasserman Schultz won't do it? Oh, I think it, uh, a good leader sometimes has to do what is best for the team if they're a leader. And I think uh, by her removing herself and therefore building this controversy, which would be in a distraction for the for the Democrats, was a wise move. Uh, when you contrast, Thomas, that at this convention, we're going to have tonight Senator Sanders, who's already endorsed who won the primaries, with Ted Cruz, who wouldn't endorse at the Republican convention. I don't think it's even close in terms of which convention was more divided, uh, unless something else occurs. What happened, I think, was very, very serious. It certainly played into the fears and the suspicions of a lot of the Sanders supporters. Mm -hmm. But I think if Bernie Sanders comes on tonight and says what he's been saying, I think that will go a long way to trying to focus on what is at stake for the country. And is it also important for the Clinton campaign to almost distance itself a bit from remarks that were exchanged within those emails because of the fact that she has taken such a hardline stance to contrast herself against the language of Donald Trump to say he does not re represent our values. And some of the values that were represented within those emails. Those, those emails, particularly about his religion mm -hmm. and others, were ugly. And they not only need to distance themselves, they need to repudiate the spirit of those remarks. I think that is very important. And I think that that is, goes beyond the Sanders supporters. I think Americans want to hear that we are not choosing between sides of ugliness. Uh, not that anyone from the Clinton campaign was on those emails, but certainly the DNC is connected in the broad sense uh, in terms of the party that she's now going to be the titular head of. And so also this evening we have Michelle Obama that's going to be speaking. Uh, what type of excitement, what type of message can she demonstrate to get people that might not be that excited about a Hillary Clinton rallying to, yeah. well, to, I, to her I, ticket? I think when you look at the uh, fact that Michelle Obama has been one of the most admired first ladies, if not the most, uh, in my lifetime, when she has been a lady that has also rallied this country around issues like health and like uh, uh, what to do with young women and what how in terms of what to do in terms of development and really critical issues. She, more than anyone, I think, is going to be an opening night that uh, people can really say, wait a minute, this is the kind of leadership that America really wants to try and maintain. So I think she's going to have an awesome impact because she's been an awesome first lady. We'll wait to see if she borrows a line from Melania. But I doubt uh, that. I doubt, uh, President Obama, real fast, he's Wednesday, and he kind of sets up Hillary Clinton for Thursday. I think that his presence will set a tone. I think it will remind the country of the months he's been in office, every month getting jobs. I think that you've gone from a reality show last week to a reality this week. And reality, despite our challenges, have been better under this president. Reverend Al Sharpton, great to see you, sir. Good to see you, So Tom. nice to see you here in Next Philly. time I won't bring the choir with you. No, always bring them with you. We <laughs> love it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.